Hello and welcome to today's video. So this one we're just going to do a very quick look at the brand new Target Storybook, which I'm delighted to say I've managed to get a copy on publication date. So we're going to have a look through it, we're going to see who's written what, and uh, well, just see what it's all about. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Okay then, so I'm delighted to say I've finally got my hands on the uh, this new Target storybook. Um, it's hardback. I didn't actually realise it was going to be hardback. I actually thought it was going to be more akin to um, like the old um, Doctor Who Discovery series. So it's a little bit bigger, um, not quite A4, but a little bit more like trade paperback size. But in actual fact, it's come as this uh, rather snazzy hardback. Um, first of all, bit of a mixture it's a bit like those uh, recent reissues where they've got the modern Doctor Who logo but with um, the old Target logo there which is fantastic I do love um, seeing that one again I think the first thing we really need to do is have a look at this amazing dust jacket so I'll slip it out out there so there's the uh, actual hardback itself pretty straightforward that one but let's have a look at this great dust jacket so that's a, that's a real work of art that isn't it um, I do like the way that they've got the little um, the, the dots there, a bit like um, Chris Akilos' uh, style from uh, the Target books of old. Some of my favourite co um, classic Target book covers are in that style. And it's got all the, all the Doctors on there, as well as Adric, because uh, Matthew Waterhouse has written um, as, uh, one of the short stories that are in here. But yeah, really, really nice cover that I mean fantastic that's the sort of thing I would imagine will come out as a poster um, at some point so the actual cover price for this book is $16.99 in the UK or $23.99 US $35.99 Canadian it's published by BBC books which um, they get published through Penguin and in this exciting collection, you'll find all new stories spinning off from some of your favourite Doctor Who moments across the history of the series. Discover what happened next, what went on before, and what occurred off screen in an inventive selection of sequels, side trips, foreshadowings, and first hand accounts, and look forward to with a brand new adventure for the 13th Doctor. And then it tells you a little bit about who's actually included in this. Um, the Target Storybook is a once in a lifetime tour around the wonders of the Hooniverse. So I have to say that actual concept of following on or doing a little precursor or taking one tiny aspect of a story was something that the uh, Star Trek Strange New World series did. Um, and they invited fans to take um, one little aspect of a story or a character and um, expand on it. Um, and that sort of feels like what they've done here. So let's have a look at the contents then. So. See, it's not an inconsiderable size book here. It's uh, just over 400 pages. Um, the text, however, is um, quite large. So whether the actual target market for this is sort of, um, well, youngsters upwards, I suppose, um, but probably also a huge um, adult market for this uh, book as well. So based on the Doctor Who TV adventures from 1963 to 2019, well, that's uh, a bit forward. Oh, shouldn't it be 1963 to the present day? Um, that almost says it's uh, 2019 is the last day. So here's the contents list. <clears throat> so Gate Crashers, Joy Wilkinson, Journey Out of Terror. There's a Terence Dix, I guess. This one here, Save Yourself by Terence Dix, is possibly the last um, last thing he wrote or last thing he had published um, uh, before he sadly passed away. Uh, the Clean Air Act, Matthew Sweet, Punting. The Dark River by Matthew Waterhouse. And then there's one by Colin Baker. Uh, which should be interesting. Um, I don't think I've ever read any Colin Baker stories before. Um, the Slither of Shoreditch, Mike Tucker, the um, BBC special effects uh, chap. One by Steve Cole here. We Can't Stop What's Coming. Decoy by George Mann. Um, Una McCormack, um, Grounded. Um, she does a lot of the Star Trek books, including the new Discovery novels. Um, Turning of the Tide, Jenna Colgan. Um, Citation Needed, Jacqueline Rayner. Pain Management by Beverly Sanford and Letters from the Front by Vinay Patel. Um, now, there are illustrations throughout this book as well. And I wonder who has done the, the pictures. Just trying to see in the copyrights here. Um, 
first published interior illustrations, Mike Collins. Of course, we know Mike Collins. Um, he uh, was a, he did lots of uh, work for the Doctor Who magazine in the comic strips. So uh, there we are, and there is actually the first one. So I would imagine that each story does have its own illustration. Let's have a little look. Yeah, there we are. So this is a first Doctor one by the look of it. And this one by Terence. That's a great, great picture, isn't it? Trout in there. That's good stuff. I can't wait to read these. They look, I mean, that's, that's like a whole story. So you're going to be able to read these, you know, you'll fly through this book very quickly. Um, but I'm not here to review the actual stories. I'm just showing you what's in this one. Um, I've not had a chance to read it because it's literally only just come through the door. Uh, last night I got this one from Amazon. So uh, I was delighted to get this one so early. Punting. So there we are. Look, this is from uh, Shada. Or you may recognize that scene from The Five Doctors. Dark River. This is the Matthew Waterhouse one. So it looks like we've got, that looks like, is that Nyssa, the back of Nyssa? Maybe. Not such a good rendition of um, Adric there. Um, but then again, I suppose, you know, he was quite young when he was in the show, wasn't he? Um, this is Colin Baker's one. So that looks interesting. It looks like Colin Baker's gone back in time to see uh, or prevent himself doing something. Looks interesting. This one by Mike Tucker, Sylvester McCoy story. Looks like it's set on Earth, that looks interesting. Mike Tucker, great author, as well as a special effects uh, expert. And I look at this one for the Eighth Doctor. Mm, that almost looks like Tribe of Gum, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I wonder what that one's all about. Not giving too many clues away. Uh, this one by George Mann, that's old John Hurt, there's the War Doctor. Um, maybe this one's set on Gallifrey. Or is that the Dalek Army? I don't know. That looks interesting, doesn't it? Grounded. Ah, yeah, Una McCormick. So this is uh, more, the more modern era again. I guess that's supposed to be Eccleston. I'm not 100% sure. Turning of the Tide. This is a David Tennant story, and that's Rose there by the look of it. As I said, let's hope, let's really hope that this gets, uh, launches the Target imprint even further and uh, we start to get some of the more modern stories uh, put into Target paperbacks. How cool would that be? Citation needed. This is a, a Matt Smith one. So it looks like they're working their way through most of the Doctors. There we are, there's a Capaldi one. It looks pretty good. Doc playing at a concert by the look of it. Another one here. <clears throat> that's just from the front, Vinay Patel. That one's not giving a lot away, is it? So that's the last actual story. And then there's a little piece at the back here where it goes through um, a little uh, bio for all the different authors. which is quite good, as if you didn't know that. I mean, we know most of these anyway, don't we? And there we are. Well, that's actually a really nice little publication, that. Certainly not um, a taxing read, but just the sort of thing you might want to dip in and out of uh, when you've got 10 minutes to spare, you'll fly through those. Um, certainly some of those early Doctor Adventures look fantastic. And the uh, the Tom Baker Lal Award one on, um, on punting looks excellent as well. So yeah, all in all, rather a nice, uh, nice little package, that one. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at this great new Target storybook. If you do fancy buying one, I've put a direct link below for Amazon UK so you can pick one straight up and you'll be doing this channel a little favour, keeping it healthy and funded for the future. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.